hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is anil and in this laravel video tutorial we will learn that how we can start with the laravel and database we will make a basic configuration and we will just fetch some data from the database right so here you can see that this is my database name and this is my table we will fetch this data on our laravel project so uh, why we are using only the mysql not using the other like oracle or other uh, database because mysql is mostly used database with the php and the laravel right uh, so now first of all let's uh, set up the configuration for the database and for that let's uh, you need to open the .env file you can find this env file here and if you did not find then you can automatically create you will just definitely find a .env.example and just rename this file to the .env right okay so after that you just need to configuration there is a lots of configuration you don't need to just go through all these all these things for just database configuration so you just need to look on the db connections here so db connection host and port is already provided you just need to put a database name username and password right so username is by default root unless you are not changing it and password is also by default blank unless you are not updating it so in my case i already updated it so it this is the red hat at the rate one two three and one more thing our database name is blog here you can see that right you can use the any other database name also i just put here blog so now this is the basic configuration which is done so how is actually uh, impact the laravel so these configuration files are just executed in the configuration and you can just see that mysql.php so you will find that on a mysql uh, host name port name database name username and the password are just directly fetched from the env file this is the env function which is just getting the data from this env file right so that's all our configuration is done now let's make a controller so just write here php artisan make controller and controller name can be users user controller hit the enter and our controller is ready in the app http controller and here right and let's define a function like index uh, let's use the function keyword with it and uh, here we can just uh, uh, return something for a moment like echo hello from user controller right that's fine for a moment and uh, now uh, let's just define a route for it in the mm, routes and web.php just simply write here route colon colon get and just simply put here the url for the path which is users and our class name so we need to import the class name just use here use app what's so wrong with that app then uh, we can use the um, uh, uh, folder name http then use controllers and uh, then just simply put here uh, user controller and just use the bracket here now let's uh, just use an array as a second parameter and uh, simply put here user controller colon colon class and in the second parameter just simply use the index which is function name right and uh, now everything is fine so let's try to access this with the uh, users and we are able to get the data from uh, we are able to get the console from controller you can see that right you can just simply write here hello from users and all that's okay so now just we need to import the database class so just write here use illuminate support 
and after that we need to use the salt and just simply write here db now just remove this console take a return here and just use db and uh, colon colon select and uh, here we can put our any command like uh, select star from table name which is users right then how it do the how it uh, actually know the database name which is blog which is just connected with the db class and then select the data from the users table right and now you can just see that we got the data the first second and third and fourth we have the four uh, user here so data is just get get here so this is the fun way to get get connected with the database we can just use the database classes directly and another way is we can use the model also so in the next video we will see that how we can connect with the database with the help of model and uh, we will use the same table which is here and we will get the data in a same way but uh, uh, we will just get the same data but with the different way right so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care